<laughs> How's it going? Right, so back with a bull worker today. One of my favorite pieces of home workout kit. Love it, love a bull worker. But it does have its limitations. Um, I did a recent video where I talked about the limitations or the pros and cons of isometrics. Um, and the limitations of a bull worker is the range of motion. Now, so you can do it isometrically, a static hold, or isotonically with movement. So there's a static hold here, okay? And then there's movement. But as you can see, the range of motion isn't particularly good. What, it's a few inches? Uh, and this can affect your mobility and flexibility a little bit. Um, and I have noticed on the Bull Worker website, they're putting out workouts now, because with the new Bull Worker, you can change the springs. And what they're doing is they're putting in the, the weakest spring they got into that Bull Worker. And they're able to compress it all the way in and all the way out. Well, the problem with that is to get any benefit from resistance training, you have to go close to failure, or at least a few reps short, or about 80, 70 to 80% of it. So if, you do, if you're doing 10 reps, you shouldn't be able to do 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Maybe you get 10, 11, 12, and that's it. Okay, so you either go to failure or a couple of uh, reps shy of failure. Now, when they're using the low spring, though the really weak spring in their bull work, you can see that when they're doing it, they're getting to 10 or 12, I think it is, but you can see there's at least 10 more reps in the tank there, easily, if not more. Um, so it's a little bit pointless, and still, that range of motion is still limited. Anyway, so I've got a solution for that. You can have best of both worlds, <laughs> right. So what you do is get bull worker and a resistance band. <laughs> okay. And you just use, you combine them both uh, and do like what I say, well, it's probably like a bit like a superset. So you start off with an isometric hold with your bull worker and finish off directly with your resistance band. Now, I'm gonna use it with, with a, one of these door anchors I said anchor, anchor, okay? No silent W. Anyway, right? So this goes over the door, thus so. Wallop, and there you go. And I can thread my resistance band through there, and it's pretty solid. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Make sure you anchor it on the right side. Now, as you can see, there's a Bead, this wood bead going around the, the door here. So that door, that's not going anywhere. If I turn this and put it on the other side, the only thing that's holding that between me and that is a little latch there, it's not strong enough. So make sure you're on the right side of the door where the door closes and it, so you, it won't go anywhere, okay? Because the last thing you want is you're pulling on that and it goes whoosh, or slaps you in the face or even worse, in the nuts. Ouch. <laughs> right, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a little workout just to give you a demonstration of what I'm trying to get across to you and what I'm talking about. Um, now, I am gonna keep the reps to 10, even though I could potentially do more, and if I was working out on my own without filming it, I would go to failure or almost failure, even if it took me 20 to 25 reps. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do 10 reps to keep the video short. You don't wanna be going on for ages doing 25 reps on every single exercise. You're like, how much longer this video? I can't take any more. I go work in half an hour. Okay. So I'm gonna have a quick warm up and then we get started with the workout. Okay. Got my bull worker for the isometric part of the workout. And for the full range of motion, I got my resistance bands here. I got one ready on the door anchor, and I got a couple of other ones here for the smaller muscle groups and bigger muscle groups. 
Now, what we're going to start off with is the isometric hold just here. So we're holding for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, you're going to like this. So I'm going to hook my ball worker now through here and hook it on to the resistance band. Make sure I got it even both sides. Okay, I'm going to get behind here. I'm going to put my hand on the inside of the resistance band here and inside here to hold the resistance band in place. And from there then, what I'm going to do, lean forward and just push down. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, just move forward, bring yourself further away from the door. And there you go. And 10. Okay, next we're going to do the back. So I'm going to grab the bull worker here in the center and just pull apart, arms slightly bent, working them rear delts and rhomboids at the back, pulling apart, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Ba-doo. again, hook my ball worker back in, make sure it's nice and even there, okay, now I'm going to grab it on the outside of the other bands this time, just there, and from here then, what you're doing then is taking a, let one leg back, one leg forward, keep the front leg bent, back leg straight, shoulder width apart, and just pulling in here. There you go. And we're doing a nice roll for the back. And again, if you want to make it harder, to take a step back, go through the back, woof, there you go. Make sure you're trying to squeeze them shoulder blades together. Yes. Next, we're going to hit those shoulders. So taking the just above your head here, uh, arms slightly bent and slightly in front. I'm pushing in, holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then what we're going to do now is put it back through again here. Take the hands just on the inside of the resistance band. And what we're gonna do is do some face pulls. Now a face pull will work the rear delts and the middle delt, lateral delt or medial delt, whatever you wanna call it. So from here, coming back, taking the elbows back, pulling towards your face here and nose. And again, this is where we want to make sure that band doesn't come loose. We don't want it flicking in my face. Oh, and we're going to do one more. Okay, so triceps next, back of the arm. What we're going to do here, just take the arms either side of the chest, back nice and straight, and we're just pushing them with the both hands on the ball worker here, and then pushing down. Hold that stomach in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Then we're going to go back over to the door, chuck the ball worker through the loops again. Whoosh, one here, one here, either side there. Okay. Grab the center of the ball worker, arms to the side. You can put one leg forward, one leg back if you want to slightly bend the legs, hold the stomach in. And what we're doing there is pushing down for 10 reps. Eight, nine, ten. I have to be really careful 
I should have put my wind muff on here because you probably hear me breathe. <laughs> 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 I bet that's happened all the way through, isn't it? It'll be out. You can put up with it. You know what I mean. Okay, next one we're going to do is some biceps. So I'm going to use a slightly smaller one for this one. So I'm going to use this one here. Let's move this up the way. So I'm going to do both sides now. This is like a hammer curl. I'm going to push up and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change sides. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Nine and a half, nine and three quarters, ten. <laughs> okay. What we're going to do now is put the band over here. Like that. Okay. And then stick that on the floor. Put your feet through. Make sure it's even both sides. There we go. It can be a little bit fiddly. And then grab on the inside of the resistance band here. Back nice and straight, and from here then, bicep curl. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, ten. And like I said, you know, you can see. I could probably do quite a few more reps here, but I'm just keeping it to 10. Um, so this video doesn't go on, go on forever. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of legs. Okay, so I've got the thicker band again for the legs, just to make it a little bit harder, because obviously the legs are much stronger than my upper body. So you want to make it a bit more challenging. And we're going to do uh, like very similar to a, a sort of static deadlift with a ball worker. So you're going to put your feet through the bottom here. Now, again, it's not much of a range of motion here. Back nice and straight. I'm going to pull up as far as I can, okay, with the ball worker. And then pull. And if you find you're not getting a very good range of motion, what you can do is bring the hands to the centre. And that'll give you a little bit better then. So I'm just going to stay here now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 two, and one. Now, what I'm going to do now is wrap this black band around and I'm going to put my feet at the bottom here, just slightly about shoulder width apart if I can. And this is going to be quite hard now because this is a very hard band. I'm going to get my arms under here, okay? Just hook it under here like this, and then pull it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. 10, and there you go, <laughs> still out of breath from those squats, phew, <laughs> anyway, but it shows how effective it is, uh, and that's basically how, what you do, so you're getting the full effect of the isometric workout from the ball worker, full range of motion from the resistance bands, so you're getting best of both worlds. Whew. What happens is everyone's a winner. And the good thing about um, resistance bands is they're also easy on the joints. It's not, you know, they're not very hard on the joints like a free weight is. And another benefit is, is that if you look at my last video, it shows that resistance bands are as good as traditional, if I could say tradi tra traditional weight training. Boof. Easy when you know how. <laughs> so they're, they're as good as weights. <laughs> it gets easier um, from all the research I found anyway. I hope you liked the video. If you've got any questions, please feel free to comment in the comment section. Don't forget to give the video a like. 
And don't forget to subscribe, okay? And I'll catch you in the next video.